The resident group Mount Pleasant concerned citizens are banding together to attack the problem after their area sees a rise of attacks and they're doing it on their own. We need to come together as a community. And with that, Beverly Moore announced at this Mount Pleasant Concerned Citizens meeting the creation of an auxiliary police unit that community members hope will help fight the rising crime on Cleveland's east side. I think it's horrible. I think it's, um, it just shows the disrespect that's going on in the uh, whole community from, you know, uh, young, from the youth uh, to the elderly. A recent rash of crime started late March with the bodies of 20-year-old Jasmine Trotter and 45-year-old Christine Malone discovered. A couple of weeks ago, the body of 21-year-old Ashley Leshevsky discovered all three women found in different areas of East 93rd Street. And several attacks were reported in Mount Pleasant as well. Just this past Monday, a woman reported being forced into a backyard near East 116th Street and Continental Avenue by two men. Thank God somebody saw it and said something and uh, she was able to get away. Wanting even more eyes on the ground today, community members not only announced the 20-person auxiliary force, they're also creating a neighborhood watch. We had no choice. I mean, we live here and... Uh, Let's face it, the police can't do it by themselves. Paul Ewing was one of the few who raised his hand when asked to volunteer. And that's our main goal, to protect our, the females of the neighborhood. But Moore says her concerns are over the residents who were not here Thursday. Calling on those neighbors to act, she says. We can do something, you know, if we try to do it. If we sit back and don't do anything, then nothing happens. Now, once volunteers undergo training with a Cleveland police officer, here at the York Wright Masonic Temple is where the auxiliary police office is going to be located, and members for the volunteer watch party will meet here every Wednesday as well. On your sign on Cleveland's east side, Stephanie Ramirez, News Channel 5.